Yesterday, every JavaScript developer in the world choked on their artisanal oat milk latte. After NPM, the package manager holding the entire web together, got wrecked in the largest supply chain attack in its history. The packages with over 2 billion weekly downloads stopped saying hello world, and instead said hello to some guy's crypto wallet. Most notably, it affected Chalk, a utility that makes your terminal look like the Castro district, which has hundreds of millions of downloads and created a domino effect across the entire JavaScript ecosystem. And sadly, it's not the first, second, or even third time this has happened. Crypto bros are constantly exploiting JavaScript bros, and once again, the npm package that you blindly trusted when you ran npm install contains bad code designed to steal your cryptocurrencies. Luckily though, the malicious code was quickly discovered and neutralized, but in today's video, we'll find out how a massive exploit like this is even possible. It is September 9th, 2025, and you're watching The Code Report. So here's what went down yesterday. A developer named Josh Junin, who goes by Quix Online, wakes up to what looks like an official email from NPM support. And it's stated in no uncertain terms, your account will be locked on September 10th unless you update your 2FA. Now, like I said before, Josh is the maintainer of some pretty important packages, like Chalk, Debug, ANSI Styles, and a bunch of other utilities that other developers depend on. I'm kind of a big deal. Almost every node-based CLI tool depends on one of these packages. The email looks legit, and it's coming from support at npmjs.help, which looks official, right? Wrong. It's actually a classic phishing attack. Even though Josh is very smart and a much better developer than you or I, he clicked the link, entered his credentials, and gave attackers full control to his NPM account and the ability to publish new code to these popular packages. And combined, these packages get over 2.5 billion weekly downloads, which is a crazy number. Realizing they just struck gold, they almost immediately start publishing new versions of these packages. But here's where things get interesting. It wasn't just some generic malware, but rather a crypto-specific attack targeting Web3 users. The bad code would inject itself into a web browser and monitor cryptocurrency transactions through things like MetaMask. Then when a user tries to send Bitcoin or Ethereum to one of their friends, it silently swaps out the destination address with one of the attacker's crypto wallet addresses. This type of malware is commonly known as a crypto clipper. But one thing that's interesting is that it doesn't just select a random address. Instead, it uses the Levenstein distance algorithm to calculate the visual similarity between two strings. That means when the swap occurs, it's much harder for the end user to detect that anything has changed. For example, the Levenstein distance between dude and bro is 4, but the distance between bra and bro is only 2, and the attackers use this algorithm to find a wallet address that would be the least obvious to the human eye when the swap occurs. Now these packages were compromised for about 2 hours before the community caught on, but in those 2 hours they were installed millions of times across the ICD pipelines, development environments, and production systems around the world. And the big question is how much money did the attackers actually steal? You would think it needs to at least be hundreds of millions of dollars, but in reality, they only got away with about $50 worth of Ethereum. That was a close call, but it's a wake-up call for JavaScript developers that maybe we need some additional safeguards on these popular packages. Or maybe we should rename npm install to npm pray, because every time you use it, you need to pray the code you're installing on your machine wasn't compromised by crypto bros a few hours ago. Or maybe you shouldn't even use JavaScript for backend and only use it for UI design like God intended. And the best place to get some fresh UI inspiration is Mobbin.com, the sponsor of today's video. I've been using Mobbin for five years now because it provides highly detailed breakdowns of every screen in thousands of popular applications. As a developer, you can steal, I mean get inspired by these patterns and implement them in your own applications. You can analyze entire user journeys, UI elements, and screens from over 1,000 highly successful web and mobile apps, and you can even bring them directly into Figma to kickstart your design process. Try Mobbin for free right now with a link below, and you'll get a 20% discount. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.